Uh, good afternoon there, YouTube fish peeps. 210 Aquatics here. Pardon my reflection. Filling up my 55. It's been long overdue. Uh, I haven't really shown you guys uh, other than talking about what I want to do, but I thought today I would just show you a tank. The 55. 55 gallon. It's my biggest tank. Actually, it's not technically my biggest tank now. I have another one. But, uh, this one, I bought this tank brand new. And it is a smorgish, smorgasbord when it comes to fish. It's a community smorgasbord fish tank. Tangerine swords, because I have nowhere else to go with them. Because they just keep making more after I get rid of them. I, I keep one sword and one female, and then I end up with all this. Doing a water change. It's about a 50% water change on it. I'm probably going to film until it's time to turn that off. I got my garamis. Uh, you might see a little purple haze right there. My, my garamis, and I'm uh, trying to make purple ones. The breeding project I have going on, they're about ready to go to the pond outside. 40 gallon pond outside. I got my uh, zebra laced black female angel fish here. Never paired up with any of my others. I call this guy Axel. Because he keeps killing all of my other female Philippine blues. So he had to go in here. I had to stop that. Then I've got two female polar blues here I needed. Or actually I've got four female polar blues in here I needed to take out of the polar blue 40 gallon tank in my uh, living room. Because the pair that paired up there have fry. And so they were just getting very territorial with everybody in the tank with them. And it was just a very stressful situation. I saw they were parenting well. And I thought why give them the added stress of... You know, having to guard their fry against very curious females that are saying, Hey, I want to eat these babies. So, that's why they're in here. Got that little tetra from a friend. Yeah, so we call him Axel, you know. Kept killing his ladies. Um... These little Corydoras, Corydoras down here, um, they're actually one of the first fish I got. They're probably like six, seven years old. I think they're two males. Now, this is one of them. They've been outside. They've been in a lot of tanks. They are very hardy, very hardy fish. I've got a, an albino bristlenose pleco in here. This is his spot right here. He loves this spot. He's a male, um, and somehow, some way, I ended up getting a couple of young albino bristlenose plecos. They're adolescents now. One might be under this rock. There we go. I don't know how they got in there. I got to be honest with you. But I think that's a female. I'm gonna at some point here move this tank and move her in with the rest of my albino bristlenose plecos, and I've got. Uh, one more in here somewhere. Not a jungle vowel. Um, I got a uh, sword here. It's not doing too well in the midst of all that. And up floating here, I've got a crip. Some java fern. Did this with concrete blocks. Sprayed them all. Got the hinge glass. Got one little light here. Uh, what else? Yeah, little home there. I drilled that hole out from that terracotta pot. And some fish like to make use of it. I haven't filmed in a bit. Sorry about that, I was on a roll there. It was time. So I've got a lot going on and I can't wait to show you. So, uh, Keep tuning in. 
This is my 55 right now in a room that I'm still working on. Still working on it. But that's the shelving. Most cost effective way. These are 2x8s that it's sitting on. And uh, yeah, so there you go, guys. See you in the next one. 210 Aquatics, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this short little video. You guys take care. Bye-bye.